there, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're talking about GoPro in RH. What if I really talk like that? What is going on, guys? GoPro's up huge today. RH absolutely exploded today. Why the heck did these stocks go up so much? GoPro went up over 12% today. Very good day for GoPro. But that looks like a joke compared to RH, which went up over 40% today, guys. We gotta talk about these. Now, why are these even important? Well, obviously, GoPro is my biggest investment. So anytime that stock makes a big move, it's important to me, right? And RH was a stock that was featured on three stocks I'm buying probably several times, but it probably hasn't been on the list for eight or nine months now. But that stock was on there several times, and that stock just exploded today, guys. So let's look at RH first. Why did this stock go up so much? Uh, when I first saw it, I thought literally the company got acquired, guys. RH announced on Wednesday afternoon the second quarter adjusted earnings per share of 65 cents on revenue of 615 million. The street was calling for 47 cents of, uh, of earnings, and and $606 million in, uh, in revenue. And then same store sales came up 7% versus about 5.4% was expected. So good numbers, but like to go up 40% is ridiculous. And this is a stock that's already up massively over the past year, guys. Literally, I thought when I saw it, it was up 40%, I thought they had been acquired by somebody. I thought maybe Home Depot bought them out or something because generally with billion dollar companies, they only go up, oh, somebody's gotta pay. Hold on. Hello, this is Jeremy. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Good. No problem. Yeah, yeah, let's do that right. Sorry about that, guys. One of my customers rudely interrupted us. That's so disrespectful of them. I mean, I know they were going to pay me and everything, but still, they should not have interrupted. My point was on our age is a company that's a billion dollar company that has, you know, a market cap in the billions. Generally, those stocks almost never move 30, 40% up in a day unless they get acquired. A 20% move, yeah, that's absolutely possible on a good earnings, but a 40 plus percent move and there's no acquisition, that's crazy, guys, on a billion dollar company. Company. So insane day for RH. Now in GoPro situation here, so GoPro basically went up today because they announced that they're gonna probably hit the high end of their revenue guidance. And they're also announced that they should be profitable on a non-gap basis this quarter. So this was kind of expected by me, but I guess I'm the only one in the world that knows how to run numbers anymore. If you run the numbers on GoPro, there's no way they wouldn't have been profitable on a non-GAAP basis, but everybody was expecting them to lose money on a, on a GAAP basis and non-GAAP. It made no sense to me, guys. So that's why that stock showed up today. And I mean, just yesterday it was back in the eights again, and that's like mind blowing to me because you're talking about a company with three straight stellar quarters, you know, 23% revenue growth, 19% revenue growth, 34% revenue growth last quarter. This quarter, they're probably gonna grow 20 plus percent. And they're expected to be uh, non-gap profitable this quarter and gap profitable in Q4, plus gap profitable overall in 2018, guys. So, so much going for GoPro right now. I was amazed that it was even back down there. But yeah, as far as GoPro, with its stock price moves, like nothing ever surprises me anymore, guys. Whether that stock goes up a bunch, down a bunch, like nothing surprises me with GoPro. I've been through it all with this stock. This is just one of those kind of stocks, guys. But um, needless to say, good, good information. I listened to the investor presentation. If any of you guys are actually investing in GoPro, make sure you check out that investor presentation on their website that they just gave today. Um, the CEO, the COO, I can never remember his name. I think his name is CJ something. CJ something. That guy is freaking good, that Woodman's high there. He actually knows how to communicate to investors in a, in a very simple manner where they can understand and he's just very confident. I, I actually really like that guy a lot, the CEO of uh, GoPro. So they definitely have, I think he's honestly a better face of the company as far as, um, you know, talking to investors than actually Woodman is. Woodman, um, Woodman's just too much in the clouds, I think, a lot of times, whereas, you know, which is good that he's focused on a lot of the big stuff and marketing and that type of stuff. But as far as in uh, talking to investors, like Woodman is not my favorite guy to talk to investors. I just feel like he he mumbles his words and sometimes he gets caught up in, in talking about too many different things where as a COO, this guy is freaking phenomenal. So listen to that investor presentation if you're in, 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 interested in the company or actually invested in it, guys. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little update on those two particular stocks. We had a lot of big movers today, even though the markets were kind of down. I think Fitbit went up over 10% today. I think Cabela's was up like 14% today. So, um, you know, I think Snapchat was 
was up 5%. It was a lot of big movers out there today, guys, as far as upside, just despite the markets being uh, down. And then Disney had a really bad day. I believe Disney was down 5%, guys. So a lot of moves all over the place. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and have a great day.